So today we are going to discuss about the different techniques for the cultivation to get the hybrid quality or good quality of chemical constituents as well as to the plant part. Okay. So though there are three methods uh, which is uh, uh, being applied into the advanced technology of the cultivation, the polypolyd, hybridization and uh, mutation. So let us discuss one by one. The first one is the polypolyd. Actually plants whose cells contain two sets of chromosomes derived at fertilization from the union of one set from the pollen and one set from the egg cell are described as diploids and denoted by 2n right so here as it is discussing that two sets of chromosomes one set we are getting it from the pollen of one plant and another set from the egg cells, right? Then it will become diploids, which is denoted by two n or two sets of chromosomes, right? Then it will be polypolyd. Poly means many. The term polypolyd is applied to plants which more than two sets of chromosome is in the cells. Whatever the cells uh, it is going to generate that is having that will be having two sets of chromosomes right when four sets are present in the plants are described as tetrapolites or denoted by the 4n in two sets of chromosomes 2n when four sets of chromosome it is 4n like the uh, next one tetrapolites Polyd is in, induced by treatment with the colchicin, which inhibits the spindal fermentation during cell division, so that the divided chromosomes are unable to separate and pass to the daughter cell. Right. So it will not be uh, able to separate, and uh, it will be transferred to the what you call daughter cell or the cell which is going to generate right so when then only we are going to get the hybrid quality of fruit vegetable and the medicinal plant material the two sets of chromosomes remain in one cell and this develops to give tetrapolites plant right into that four sets of chromosomes will be there Treatment with colchicin may be applied in various ways because this is only the agent which is working as a what you call uh, cell division. It will initiate the cell division. The seeds may be soaked in the diluted solution of colchicin so that this colchicin will get emerged into the seeds which we are going to use for the cultivation or the seedlings, the soil around the seedling or the young shoots treated with the colchicin solution ultimately our goal is to introduce or to inject the colchicin which is the agent which will initiate the cell division in the proper pattern okay coming to the next one the average increase of alkaloids contained compared with diploid plant of datura uh, stromonium and datura Tatula was 68% with a maximum increase of 211.6%. You can see that how it is increasing the alkaloid quantity because the Turastromonium it is the alkaloidal containing medicinal plant. So ultimately we are cultivating this Datura to get the alkaloid. So uh, when we do so with the diploid what will happen the maximum it is increasing the content or quantity of the alkaloid 211.6 percent polypolyd increases cell size the large cell size can result in thicker leaves stems and the wider branch angles okay 
flowers can be larger with thicker petals resulting in the longer lasting flowers and the fruits that can be bigger than the normal size when we are employing the polypolarity technique we can get the uh, the cell division will be more and uh, we can get the uh, thicker leaf and the stem right so all those things uh, large cell size can result in the thicker leaf that's what okay some polypolarity plants exhibit greater pest resistance and a drought tolerance increase the nutrient uptake and increase the cold tolerance cold is also one of the factor which will uh, interfere into the growth of the plant so cold tolerance will increase and the nutrient up uptake they will eat more food i, I mean to say right and uh, drought tolerance if the water supply is not proper if the area it the the soil is having less water holding capacity then also they will be able to survive and they will be resist to different types of pest like microbes fungus virus and uh, other insects okay so that is the uh, advantages here in the image you can see that in this plant the chromosomes of the normal fruit if you are taking the normal fruit will be in this size whereas the chromosomes of the uh, the main fruit which is there uh, in polypolyd techniques uh, you can get uh, get the fruits of polypolyd which will be the size will be uh, big in size and uh, it will at the same time it will be having all the nutritional value and the good quantity which actually we want in the strawberry fruit here in image you can see the strawberry fruit fruit example they have given the commercial versus wild strawberries or forest the uh, which we are getting from the forest so here you can see in diploid how it is small in size and in polypolyd the size has been increased right so this is the commercial varieties whereas uh, if you are not uh, using the technique it will be small size coming to the next technique that is the mutation second one sudden heritable changes in the structure of gene on the chromosome or change in the chromosome number is known as mutation so sudden changes of gene gene on the chromosome so because the chromosome is nothing but genetic material if it is going to change ultimately whatever the fruit uh, flowers and other parts which is going to bear into the medicinal plant that will also having the changes and it will be in the the changes should be done in the such a way so that whatever the variety we are going to get that will have good quality good size good shape and a good quantity of the constituents mutation can be artificially produced by certain agents called mutagen or mutagenic agent right the the agent or the uh, cause which is going to change into the genetic material or in the gene sequences those are called mutagen mutagen cause the mutation right or mutagenic agent it will be cause the mutation mutation is the process and these are the agents they are two types physical mutations and the chemical mutations two types of mutations so here you can see the mutagens the classification has been given in physical mutagen ionizing radiation or non ionizing radiation for example uv ray so in ionizing radiation further it is classified in two category the particulate radiation example alpha rays and the non particulate radiations like x ray gamma rays and all those things coming to the chemical mutation it is the alkylating agent the first one like a, a mustard gas ems or mms and the second one the acridine dye these are the color like acridine orange and uh, proflavine the third one in the chemical mutation that is the base analogs right so in that example phi chloro urethyl so these are the mutagen or mutagenic agent which will be used for the to conduct the mutation onto the medicinal plant during the cultivation examples penicillin as an antibiotic was first obtained from penicillin right however 
the yield was very poor and the preparation was commercially expensive since then mutates mutants with higher yield of penicillin have been selected and produced right like uh, penicillin cariogenum used in the production of penicillin yielded the 100 units of the penicillin per ml of culture medium right so you can see here the 100 unit has been uh, yielded by single spore isolation strains were obtained which yielded up to 250 unit per ml of the medium whereas x-ray treatment of these strains gave mutants which produced 500 unit per ml and ultraviolet mutant of later gave strains which produced the 1000 unit per ml so here you can see how the number of unit per ml of the penicillin it is increasing whenever we are changing the mutagen here in x-ray 500 unit here the uv light 1000 unit per ml so likewise whenever we are using the mutagenic agent or mutant it is going to increase the quantity okay so here the different examples it has given in the flowers and into the carrot so how it is going to have the structure you can see here uh, the changes into the gene it cause the structure of the particular uh, fruits it will be like that right and before and after you can see in after the mutation before mutation how it was the seeds and other other cell debris it is more in quantity here but uh, uh, after mutation those uh, size and even invisible of the seeds we can see here and the cell debris also very less in quantity and pulp has been increased so ultimately our goal into the lemon or into the uh, oranges species citrus fruits it will be if it is more pulpy and more juicy it will be very good quantity a very big very good quality it will be considered so that's what mutation is having importance in the cultivation of the medicinal plant the third one very important technique that is the hybridization other already you might have studied in your inter classes so let us have the review on the hybridization it is the matting or crossing of two genetically di dissimilar plants having desired gene desired means what we want what is our desire for towards the medicinal plant or genotype and bringing them together into one individual called hybrid hybrid quality of cauliflower or hybrid quality of apple when we are getting when we are crossing two genetically dissimilar plants right two genetically different plants which is having very good quality if we will join them together whatever the uh, uh, product we are going to get into the medicinal plant that will be having all the good features of those two parent plant into this host plant this the process through which hybrids are produced is called hybridization hybridization particularly between homozygous strains right it will be between the homozygous strains which have been in breed for a number of generations introduces a degree of heterozygosis with uh, resultant hybrid vigorous often manifest into the dimensions and the other characteristic of the plant right so mean to say is that uh, the plant which we are going to get it will be having the all these features characteristic features of the parent plant the a hybrid is an organism which results from the crossing of two species or variety differing at the at least in one set of characters a different set that we are going to cross together here you can see the hybrid fruit or the all the best features which we are expecting from these kind of fruits it is having because it has gone through the hybridization and uh, they are resulting here you can see the uh, uh, green color of the strawberry if you are uh, crossing with this uh, good quality you are going to get this kind of pulp or here in apricot or palm if you are joining together you will get the plum coat right 
here in the uh, mandarin or uh, red finger line if you are joining together you are going to get blood line right which is having very good quality here in also you can see raspberry or the blackberry these two if you are uh, going for hybridization or you are crossing them the gene genetic material so whatever the thing you are going to get that is the tay berry which will be having all the best feature from the blackberry and uh, raspberry right here also there is one other example right here in a you can see how it is uh, having dull color and uh, uh, not having the very good quality of the grain in the b if it is there somewhat good one but even b is also not uh, uh, sufficient to be called as a good quality so a and b if you will uh, cross together them in hybridization technique whatever the uh, variety you are going to get in the c image it will be having both the feature the size from the a and the color from the b so size and color both you are fulfilling here in the well, in the c types of uh, well, uh, plants right so these are the techniques of uh, uh, mutation hybridization and the polypolyidy which we have to uh, 